Hello everyone, Last Wanderer here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we have Snapshot 22W44A. Like last week's Snapshot, which I didn't cover, it only contains minor changes. However, one of those changes drastically changes a feature from the first Snapshot. The Chiseled Bookshelf. Now, Chiseled Bookshelves can interact with hoppers, which is a huge change. I'll show you why. So first, let's start with a quick recap. If you want to get the new 1.20 features for yourself, check out the video I made on the first snapshot. But anyway, back to the chiseled bookshelf. As I covered before, you can place books, book and quills, written books, and enchanted books into the chiseled bookshelf. And a comparator can detect the last book slot you interacted with, rather than the fill level. If I just take out all these here, you can see that the comparator remains at a signal strength 1, because the first slot is the last one I interacted with. I can put a book back in. Nothing changes because I still interacted with that first slot. But when I put in a second book, the comparator increases to a signal strength of two. And that's about all the functionality the chiseled bookshelf had before. But now it can interact with hoppers. Chiseled bookshelves work the same with hoppers as about any other container. You can add a book in through the top or the side with a hopper and it'll be placed inside the bookshelf. If I depower this lever here, you can see the hopper taking them out. You can also add in books to chiseled bookshelves using a dropper, and this even works from underneath. And yes, if I put a hopper here on the face of the chiseled bookshelf, I can in fact still add books in. To demonstrate how useful this new mechanic is, I've made a couple of cool contraptions. The first one is pretty simple. Here in this chest, we have a bunch of mending books. So now, instead of having to open up the chest UI and manually take out a mending book, I can just unpower this lever. Now, whenever I want, I can take out a mending book straight from this chiseled bookshelf without having to ever open a UI. Not the most practical thing in the world, but it can be a bit convenient. And here, we have our second contraption, an item sorter that makes use of the chiseled bookshelf. All book type items will end up in this chest here, while all other blocks and items will end up in this chest, with the input up here. Now this is particularly useful for something like an AFK fish farm, or maybe the input of a bunch of items you get from villager trading, since you'll end up with a bunch of enchanted books and a bunch of other items. And that's what this can do here. If I open up this chest and put in the items, you can clearly see the items are all mixed in, and this item sorter would have to be completely reliable in order for it to work right. And of course, it will. We end up with all the books and all the other stuff in those two chests separately. And the redstone for this is pretty simple too. Just a comparator, three redstone torches, a dust, a repeater, and some hoppers. And everything's been sorted correctly. And over here, I have my third chiseled bookshelf contraption, a hidden library door, the most obvious thing to do with a chiseled bookshelf. Now, this door works with this chiseled bookshelf here. If I put in a regular book, nothing happens. But if I put in this secret passcode book, well, the book will be taken out, that back out, and I can enter this hidden door, just like that. And the redstone is a bit more complicated this time, but it's not terribly difficult. And I've stripped away some of the excess blocks so I can explain what's happening. It all starts with this chiseled bookshelf here. It's being constantly filtered by this hopper for this exact written book. You can't just make a new one. It's got to be exact. Now these items here are just filler items for comparison reasons. They don't really matter as long as they're a non-book block because this hopper will only take items from this chiseled bookshelf, which means any other type of item has no way of getting into this hopper. So what happens is when we put in this second book here, the signal strength will increase by one, which will power this repeater and unpower this hopper, allowing this third book to be put into this dropper here. And this repeater here will be powered. That will in turn power these observer lines, which will power this dropper, spitting that third book back out. So you're not getting the same book back, but it's easier to do this with three books rather than two, 
just because of how the redstone works. Now, this repeater here will also power this target block, which will activate a pulse extender and cause this sticky piston to pull back this composter, turning off this T flip flop so the door will open. Once the pulse extender runs out of signal strength, this T flip flop will activate again and the door will close. It's that simple. I can demonstrate it happening by putting in this book. And when the pulse extender turns off, the door closes. And this is my final chiseled bookshelf contraption for today. Another library door. But this one's a lot different. It's much less secure, but a lot more convenient and simpler. All you have to do is take out a book from here, the door will open, and then you can just place the book back, and that'll shut the door. And the redstone is a lot simpler than the other design. To show how the redstone works, I've once again stripped down the excess block. Now, this contraption has two main circuits, the detection one and the book refilling one. First, let's go over the detection one. Since you can't really detect the fill level of a chiseled bookshelf using a comparator, I instead have a hopper back here with an excess book in it. So when I take out the book, that'll turn off this comparator and open the door. When a new book comes back into this hopper, that'll once again close the door by powering this circuit. And that circuit right there is pretty simple. The second circuit is also simple. Uh, it's just the return for the book. Since this bookshelf is down here, I need a little bit of a dropper vader just to get the items into this hopper here. So all I need is this comparator, a block, and a note block to update this sticky piston here, and then a simple observer clock. First, this observer points into this block here, which will power this bottom dropper, and then this observer here will point into this bookshelf and power this top dropper, returning the book. Now you can see this in action. I can take out the book, the door opens, and then I return the book, comparator powers again, and the door closes. Overall, it's really not that complicated. And with that said, that's all I've got for this video. That was really the only change I thought was worth going over in this snapshot, and I kinda hope we get some more new features soon so that I can demo them. But I hope you enjoyed what I did showcase for the new chiseled bookshelf functionality. With that said, thank you all so much for watching, and goodbye.